So this is an excellent question. Um, there was a lot of little things that started lining up that made me come to this conclusion. Growing up, I was always a suspicion that I was born February 10th, 100%. Um, the immunization record that the orphanage gave me was dated for February 10th, as if I was, like, that was, like, the day I was found, which I think that's the day I was found, was February 10th. The doctor that, um was there that knew me and she was able to look at my record said that the day I was found I was about five and a half pounds so I was a pretty new newborn um, in order for me to be born either February 9th or February 10th when a baby is found um, they are taken to the police station where an investigation happens for a couple of weeks um, to see if any parent lost their child um, so while that's going on, you stay in the orphanage to be cared for. But once that investigation is closed, you are considered a ward of the state and open for adoption. So February 21st comes from that date of officially becoming an orphan, officially being welcomed as a as an, uh, child of the orphanage. Because in order to put a birthday down, they have to have official date. They can't just guesstimate, oh, she was probably born February 10th, so we're going to put February 10th. No, they have to have an official date down. There can't be any wavering or question in it. So that's where February 21st is, which is the legal birthday. But February 10th, February 9th is most likely my birthday. So I'm choosing February 9th. One, because my brother was born February 10th. <laughs> and then two, also, um, I was probably born late at night and just dropped off in the morning. Um, I don't really know, but yeah.